Zarba, our crew chief, working with John Goldman and Tom Washington tonight. Harris off the Embiid screen, drives and stops it through. The Saul, remember, he's a former defensive player of the year. Here's Lowry, and the former Villanova Wildcat gets Toronto on the board. The layup, but got it back. Butler driving, and scores this time against Green. Be shooting about 30% from three in the playoffs and back in the regular season. Butler got bumped and finishes through contact off the window. 21 points in game five, which was his lowest scoring total in the series. He had a 45-point game in game one. Butler on the baseline. He's been their best player offensively here in the postseason. Stays competitive, puts game pressure on Philadelphia late. What is their response? Siakam open again, and this time he knocks it down. Siakam's first three, 14 seconds. Butler defending Leonard, two excellent two-way players, and Leonard wins that one. Yeah, just Kyle Lowry doing a great job, touching the paint, playing at his pace, getting shots for his guys. Here's Scott for three. Mike Scott. In open shots. They've had some here in the first. They've had tremendous looks. They're not knocking them down. But Harris is his second three-pointer. TNT would have Raptors Sixers game seven if Philadelphia wins tonight. And great news, by the way, as uh, Leonard hits that it is only a mild calf strain. For Jabaka, here's Butler again. Missed that time. Batted out. Shot clock at five. Simmons goes right past Jabaka. Got him off the speed and finishes. He loose with the ball. Had double-figure turnovers in one of those games. Ran a catch and shoot. And the three. That's four three-pointers for Philly already. Shot clock is at three. Siakam swatted away by Ennis. Now Butler gets it back to him. Ennis to the corner for Scott. Another one. Leonard with eight points. They move it around off that initial double. And great look by Gasol to Siakam. Ender, but so smart. Developed also a three-point shot as Leonard. It's the mid-range game again. That's where he's doing his work tonight. He's got nine points, four of eight from the floor. Leonard off the Ibaka screen. Hesitates. Oh, what a feed to Ibaka for the slam. Tremendous pass. You don't think Kawhi thought to himself, there is no way I'm having another seven turnover game. Leonard just snatches it out of the air with his left hand, then takes it with his right and lays it in. And no overreaction. And nothing run by Toronto. The shot clock at four. And a strip by Leonard. Lowry, great save as he was falling. Leonard takes it all the way for the slam. And Tom says to him, you know, I don't think in February, you know, he asked people who the Toronto Raptors head coach was. I'm not sure. And Danny said. He had a 2-1 series lead. Toronto won the next two. Sixers trying to force a game seven, which would be Sunday in Toronto. Our friends at TNT will have that. Here's Butler. alley -oop. And Simmons with the put down. We're going to keep possession, but I think this ball went off him. Here's Green. And he drills a three that ends that stretch of eight straight. Miss it. Butler's going to take this one short. Chases it down. Is fouled. And he banks it in. A three-point. Siakam, nicely done with a floater. Now their staff. Shot clock at nine. Butler gets around the car. Jumps and hits off the glass. Butler, 17 points. Butler with a great play. Steals it from Leonard on the other end. Flies to the rim and lays it home with four tenths of a second left. over game six. Out situations in game six, but the last couple of years had been better closing out series on the road, which obviously is very hard to do, especially against this talented Philadelphia team, which leads it now by 17. You can see it's playing with him a little bit. Now Philly's challenging him. Two years ago, he made one three. Great move by Simmons with the right hand. Siakam last year shot 22% from three, 37% this year, and that one goes. Leonard keeps the dribble against Simmons with a timer now at three. Goes into the paint, hangs, and 
finishes with one hand. That was a tough shot. Now Butler charged with defending Lowry. Simmons stays on Leonard. Lowry gets airspace and drains a three. I mean, that's too easy. 12 point game. And B trying to get free. Here's Harris with a shot clock at four. And Harris with a terrific move in the paint. Tobias Harris has had a very good all around game tonight. <laughs> well, he. he there is no doubt a, a different level of Leonard in the postseason. Here's Reddick. Hits a frame. Lead is back to 15. Midway through the third here of game six. Leonard keeps the dribble. Siakam at the foul line. Butler, could this be their last game as members of the Sixers as Leonard takes it to the rim? Boy, he got bumped and... He lost his balance and he still don't this. Butler falling away with a shot clock at five. No good. Rebounded by Leonard. Raptors look to push it. They've got numbers. Lowry. Here's Green. Four three. It's good. And Toronto is with an eight. MB drives. Hangs. Can't finish. Oh, Simmons. What the jam. MB driving it. Gasol gets bumped. And Averaging only seven rebounds per game in the series. Harris with the blow by. Feeds the corner. It's Scott for three. Oh, I love that, you guys. And she's actually awake and watching the game. <laughs> oh, Embiid meets Kawhi in midair as he went for the lefty dunk. Embiid's got seven in the quarter, ten for the game. 16-point Philadelphia lead inside three to play in the quarter. Embiid again rejects Kawhi. And now Simmons ahead of the pack. And finish it. Wait a minute there at the end of the half. Van Vliet, none of those guys have even taken a shot. Simmons again on the attack. With the right hand. And beat the trailer. Three on target. Largest lead of the night for Philadelphia. Leonard feeds a cutting Siakam for two. Here's Harris working on Lowry in the low post. Then Harris puts it in. He's got 12 points, nine boards, and five assists. The three starters, Siakam and Leonard, are doing their part, but Gasol's got one basket. Lowry, three, green, two. And Bede, after a slow start, now he gets caught in the air, finds Harris. And then Harris takes it to the rim and gets two. Because you're going back for game seven. You know, it's, it's every other day. Nice little layup there by Kyle Lowry. Nick is imploring his guys. He's up off the bench. He's He's been enthusiastic. Althea does. I mean, I have no idea what to think about Game 7. The way this series has gone, when it was 2-1 Philly, it looked like the Sixers are on their way as Leonard slams, and then the Raptors win the next two, including the... And we're not coming in here until 5 o'clock pregame to walk through things. Lowry's three is good. It's Toronto back within 19. Then his rookie year when he was healthy, he, he was phenomenal and then he gets hurt and he misses you know, 50 games basically. Obviously San Antonio did the same, but that guy has got a lot in his offensive arsenal. Reddick for three! In second quarter where he took control of the game. He also has eight assists and six rebounds. He hasn't missed a free throw in this game. And he's taking good shots as Gasol hits. The Butler's only attempted one three. Pistons. My gosh, you and I weren't alive. <laughs> Not close. To <laughs> <laughs> Another whistle. Hasn't been to the conference final since 2000. Denver's last trip there was 2009. There's T.J. McConnell in the paint. There's Patrick McCaw. Miller in the lane. Nice move. Nice layup. Mm. Don't forget, we have another game six tomorrow night on ESPN. Warriors and Rockets. Kevin Durant to make it to the conference final. Well, no more next week. McConnell flips it up and in. There's Jody Meeks driving and getting the layup. Toronto with a spot in the Eastern Conference Finals on the line. Milwaukee is waiting. And the Bucks are going to get a week off and a well-deserved 
standing ovation from the Philly faithful because the Sixers played lights out as they force Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals Sunday night in Toronto.